Alright, so this is going to be a duel between um, Chris, who's playing our Ubel Insector Hybrid deck, and whatever this guy is playing. Uh, so, Chris is going to be going first. And uh, he has, Chris doesn't have a lot of experience with Insectors yet, so. Yeah, kind of cut him some slack if he makes any mistakes here. And the foolish is probably going to go into Chris's deck and get in the Insector Hornet. Is my guess is what he's going to send, unless uh, it's a Ubel. And if he has the Ubel that he's sending, that probably means that he has a, a Hornet in hand, which is a good sign. Kind of surprised he left himself open. First turn, but that's okay. Heavy storm. Got the Starlight Road face down. Nope. No Starlight Road. Bad playing, Chris. Boo. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. So Chris lost a Tarantial and a Solemn there. And his opponent is apparently slow. Both guys going with the face down defense. And just going back to the uh, the solemn morning uh, torrential tribute play, I do recommend uh, setting a torrential or a solemn morning, not both at the same time. It's good to balance those out with a, a starlight road especially if you can. If you, if you get put in the position Chris just got put into, it can be rather rough. So here we go. We got... I'm really also surprised he didn't have a limit reverse face down. Oh, he must have been monster heavy in hand. I must have been what's going on. So he's going to mill and that's going to send the Hornet. And that's really one of the big combos of the deck right there is using that Greffer to get that Insector Hornet out. And go to battle phase and attack. Greffer. It's gonna send his plague. Chris is in an interesting position right now because he is down two cards in terms of card advantage right now, but he's got his setup already in play. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, he's going to Karma Cut, Chris. That's, that's going to hurt. Kind of surprised that he, uh, he went with the Karma Cut uh, on the Greffer. Because if he would have used this Karma Cut on uh, an Insector and waited a minute, he probably would have had a little bit more, a uh, little bit more luck. Whoop! I lost my duel. And now with the token, the token is level two with 500 attack points. Just in case anyone was wondering. Chris is going to activate his Heavy Storm, get rid of the D-Prison. Flip summons the Sangin, and the Sangin's going to wage war. Chris is in a good position now because he's got the Hornet in the graveyard, he's got the Sangin, which means that he has everything uh, ready to start going into his Insector Loop. And as he tributes off for a Gigamantis, this is going to be it's going to be a good little play here. So 
Searching the dragonfly. And he's already used his normal summon for the turn, which means that he can't do the loops this turn, but that's okay because his opponent doesn't have any cards out right now for him to loop and destroy. Opponent choosing to go with DD Warrior Lady. Not a bad choice for the uh, the occasion. Going to sacrifice the life points in order to remove the Gigamantis from play. What? Uh, we don't know why he summoned the token. <laughs> Wait, why is he getting a token? So anyway, he's going to bring out a token, try and do some BS. I'm not sure how he got the token. I'm a little confused right now, but that's fine. Whatever. So Chris will pop the Ubel by switching it to defense mode to bring out the Terror Incarnate and watch how we have fun. During the end phase, all monsters on the opponent's side of the field are destroyed. Well, all monsters on the field and the bell are destroyed. So, the opponent, not entirely sure probably what's going on or what to do at this point. Because this is usually the point when uh, the opponent starts to get really confused now that they're dealing with Ubel and not just something more standard. Um, looks like he's going with a Fabled, and he, ditch he has the Fabled Raven, and he ditches Trigodia to activate the effect. So that'll bring his Raven up to level 3. Now he's going to activate Monster Reborn. Not entirely sure what he's trying to do here. I'm going to possibly Overlay. Nope, Synchro Summon. Looks like he's going to Synchro Summon for level 6 for a Bryonic. I don't think he realizes that... Uh, he only has one card in hand. This is a this is not very this is not necessarily a smart play. But then again, he doesn't know what he's doing against you Bell, so whatever. Oh, we're going to remove a card from play. A light and a dark from play to drop Luster Soldier. He's going to banish that and Ultimate Nightmare will come out. His opponent did not read the card effect. <laughs> and uh, I have a feeling Chris is going to abuse him for it. If you're not already aware, the uh, The effect of the ultimate nightmare cannot be normal summoned or set, it must be special summoned by the Ubel Terror Incarnate uh, when it leaves the field. So, 
Chris knows this little trick. We, uh, most of us that have played Chris a lot know this little trick. So here we are, and now Chris is going to summon the Dragonfly, and he's going to go into his Insector Loop. And if he's smart here, I'm, I'm sure he's actually going to use the Dragonfly to bring back the Hornet, and he'll pop the token in the Bryonic, leaving the uh, Black Luster Soldier on the field so that he can uh, destroy that with the U-Bell. And he's going to do a lot of damage this turn. Which is an excellent, excellent play on Chris's part. So he's got the Hornet equipped now. Now he's going to ditch the Hornet. There it goes. And he's going to target the Bryonic. Bryonic's destroyed. Dragonfly's effect is now going to activate and you bell master Chris will get to go ahead and search the score right now is 8000 Chris to 7100 Mad Max 0708 uh, so now Chris has the centipede that just got special summoned by the dragonfly effect that will the centipede's effect will activate. He's equipping the hornet to the centipede now. Now he's going to use the hornet effect again, and this time he's going to take out that token. And he's going to get to search with the insector centipede. And now Chris has, uh, if you, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, Chris has two cards in hand, he's going up to three cards in hand now, and his opponent is in top deck mode and is about to take a serious amount of damage, and this is exactly what we've expected to happen the entire duel, this has been set up from moment one, so here we go, battle phase, Chris can go ahead and attack. That drops his opponent down to 4,100 and destroys the Black Luster Soldier. Now Chris will move in for another 2,600 points of damage. The, this is just exactly what we want to go for. We've got him down to 1,500. We're still sitting pretty at 8,000. He's in top deck mode. Chris has done exactly what he's supposed to do here, and I would expect his opponent to scoop after the next draw. Oh, Chris is even going to get nastier in overlay. Um, I'm guessing he's probably going to go for a Levier uh, here because there are a couple of monsters now that have been removed from play. But it could very also well be a Leviathan uh, if he wants to go for a little bit more attack points. So it's really up to Chris, whatever he feels like right now and he's gonna go with number 17 Leviathan Dragon um, and as he ends his turn he is sitting very very strong and yeah, his opponent missed feet, that's it